Hi, my name is Paul Fiebel from Origin and this is my basic champion guide to Karma. Karma in solo queue is really strong against assassins and Corky because you can you have your shield, you have your ultimate W for healing, you can nearly serve every matchup and you're all kind of always useful. So even if you don't deal a lot of damage, you can speed up your team, you can tank a little bit of damage and like absorb it for your team. The only issue or weakness she has in solo queue is that she doesn't deal a lot of damage, so you have a lot you have some sustained damage. But I wouldn't say it's enough if you have, let's say, three tanks in your team. You kind of need a damage source or two damage sources somewhere else. So I like to play with like a Kindred and an AD carry. So you have kind of two AD carries and you can like buff everyone up with shields and deal you sustained damage and they can't only fall with you. The landing is pretty simple as Karma. You try to hit your Q spells and that's kind of already the hardest part because you need to Hit your Q spells while the enemy is mostly staying behind the minions, so you need to like hit him when he is trying to go for last hit and he's staying next to his creep and you just hit the creep and you kind of do damage through the creep to him. While you look like for opportunities when you W him and he, as I said before, he's exposing himself so you can do an ultimate Q or like only the Q spell. And that's kind of the landing phase how it goes. You just try to look for opportunity to trade and if he runs at you, it's really bad for him because he's exposing himself for free Q spells. So Nearly all the time, Karma has a equal to winning matchup in mid lane because she's really strong in the early game. Because she has instantly her ultimate kind of skills, so I think she's um, quite strong in the early game and mid game she's really good as well. Late game, I think she becomes kind of weak compared to other mid laners. The options you have when you play Karma in team fights is you can try to deal as much damage as you can with going for the ultimate Q spell or you can go for the kind of surviving on your own if you ultimate W the assassin who goes on you and last two options are you ultimate shield your team to get and absorb as much damage as you can plus you give them a sweep buff so they can like maybe even dodge more skill shot take less damage and the last thing is you can if you ultimate E spell people you can run at them you can disengage you can get everyone can get a better positioning in team fights, so you have a lot of different opportunity like options. I would say as Karma, I mostly go for either the ultimate Q spell or ultimate E spell when I'm not in danger. And obviously, sometimes you're just forced to take the W as ultimate. So that's kind of how you play it out. And if your AD carry is fat, I mostly just peel. If my AD carry is kind of useless, I probably use more of my damage. I try to get more damage off. It always depends on the game, how the game goes, how your champions are, and how your stats are. Uh, the runes on Karma are pretty simple. On reds I go magic penetration, on yellows I go HP per level, on blues I run 10% CDR per level, and the other three uh, cliffs you can go uh, either mage resistance or AP per level. And on, on the Quince Ascension I run three times flat AP. The only thing you can actually change up or mix up are the red ones, the marks. You can go instead of magic pen, you can go hybrid pen. But I would only do that against melee matchups, and I actually prefer to have the magic pen. On Karma, you go or you run Sun and Lot. I think it's the best. You can pop it with your Ultra Tech Q spells. And if you have your W on the target and then this twice damage and you do one Ultra Tech, it pops as well. So. Salonot, I think, is the best option you can go. But not only you get Salonot, but you get the intelligence, the 5% before Salonot as well, which is really strong on Karma. And like Lulu and Orena and these champions who are shielding the team a lot. It's just really good to have the 5%. The skill order is pretty simple. You start with the Q spell, secondary you max the W, and this last one you max the shield. I don't, I don't think I ever change it up. I don't even split the points. For me, it's always Q W, and then after as last one, you skill the E. So on level one, you go for the Q spell, just for the landing phase, trading, dealing damage, having the mantra Q spell, the ultimate Q. And on level two, I take the W, just for kind of trading because you can like W him, and you kind of need to run out of your range. And sometimes he like exposes himself, like running away from the minions, and you can Q him afterwards. So that's pretty good. Um, on level 3 you can decide on your own, do you want more damage on the Q spell or do you want to have the shield? I, I changed this up, but I, I, after level 4 it's always the same for me, maxing Q and secondary maxing W. The only summoners I run on Karma is TP and Exhaust. The reason why I go TP is to get more sideline pressure 
and exhaust against Fizz or Talon against these gems who literally just want to try to kill you and you need even more a defensive combat summoner. But in most of the cases, I think that you heal on W and shield should be enough to survive against a against every assassin. On Karma, I uh, go first item in nearly all the matchups, Rod of the Ages. I think it's a really good um, item for her because you kind of get more tankiness, you can't really die that fast. It's better for your survivability in teamfights as well because you can look for like a ultimate W. And it's more likely that you get your W uh, second heal um, off if, if you have the Road of the Ages. Afterwards, you go for the Morellos because of the CDR. I go CDR boots as well to get the 30% plus the blue if you have the 40. Or with the runes, you have the 40 all the time. And then a the third item, you can decide between Rubberdons, Void Staff, and then the fourth, the fourth item will be the same, one of, the, one of these. And then afterwards, you have this. You have always the same option. It's like nearly with every mid laner. You can go Rylai's, you can go Loons, you can go Luandri's, you can go Zonia's. I was thinking about maybe going the Arden Sensor, but I don't think it's too good. So I think you should just stick with the normal uh, AP items I just said before and you're really good to go. Thanks for watching this basic champion guide. Make sure to check out the rest of the guides over at lolclass.com.